morning everyone. This is the eighth video of the series and today I would like to talk about video number seven, the previous one. If you watch it, uh, you know that I was uh, trying to create a new capping form uh, designed more for the farmers, right? And the SEA uh, got in touch with me after releasing the video and uh, they told me that they are aware of the issues that the SCA, that the current SCA capping form might have, and that they are working on it and they might uh, release a new capping form in the new future. So they were really nice and informative, and I was grateful to receive that information from their side. So I decided to stop my project because um, the SEA is much more prepared than I am to create a new capping form. Uh, it's a huge task that needs a lot of research and a lot of uh, sensory science and a lot of input from other professionals. And the SEA is the right uh, organ organization to do that right? Much better than me. So I will stop with that. Uh, and that makes total sense. And, uh, but one thing came out that I find interesting uh, from the previous video. Uh, I would add a link to the video in case you have, you haven't watched it. And uh, in on YouTube, I added a Google form that you could uh, answer. And the questions were regarding the current SEA capping form. And it's true that my questions were a bit biased, but uh, one question I found uh, worth uh, the effort to answer, right? And uh, that is the last one. And it says, if you encounter a lasting astringency in a coffee, would you penalize it in the body or in the aftertaste attribute? 84% of the people said they would penalize it in the aftertaste. But I uh, would think the right answer is body because astringency is a tactile or chemical tactile reaction from the skin in your mouth, right? It's the same as when you feel spicy food or when you feel the cooling sensation of mint. And uh, it's not, we can uh, be sure that astringency is not a taste, not, it's not an aroma, it's not a flavor, it's a tactile sensation, right? So I would think my answer is the correct one, but I'm not sure anymore because my answer would be in the minority percentage of uh, all the people answering that question. So what I do is I follow the World Coffee Research Lexicon and they mention four attributes for the mouthfeel section. They say you can encounter uh, the following ones in coffee. Oily, thickness, metallic, and mouth drying, in this case, astringency. Um, and I would stick to that. But, um, like I said, I'm not sure about my answer anymore. So what would you think is the right answer? Is it the body or is it mouthfeel, the attributes you have to um, penalize in case you find a very astringent coffee? That's it for now. Thank you very much and um, see you next time.